Good morning, good afternoon, good night, guys. What is up? I'm with Dan and Keith, and we Hello. are in Disney Springs right after Christmas. It is packed here tonight. Um, it's actually insane. So this is gonna be a little bit of a vlog and also a little like, what's it? Uh, a little prep for anyone who's coming down for the Disney College program. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, and uh, look at all of this, guys. It is insane tonight. Anyway, I went to Instagram to ask you guys some questions about what I should, you know, talk about, and I went on Facebook. So we're about to get into that right now. know when you're coming down here for the DCP is that Disney Springs is actually a really fun place to go if you have nothing to do if you're off come to Disney Springs if you're above if you're 21 or above you can get um, good drinks here there's a lot of good places to eat and if you're below 21 you can still eat here and uh, just hang out there's a, a bowling alley cheap bowling so uh, really cool places to hang out yes for our cast members especially college program kids uh, Splitsville really cheap do it Look how insane Springs is right now. This is insane. I have never seen Springs this packed before. Wow. So we are struggling to find a place to eat right now. Look at all this. It is filled right now. There is a line to get into Blaze Pizza, which is a quick service place. So forget reservations. Look at this line. It's insane. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's the holiday season, but wow. I've never been here when it's so packed before. Here we are at Deluxe Burger. My friend used to work here. Even the line here, like I said, like I'm just not used to these lines going out the door. You know, I'm not upset by it. I'm just like surprised. I've never seen it before. Look at this. It's going all the way out here. That's insane. Well, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just showing you some really good places to eat. So when you come down here on your college program, these are some awesome places to eat. You gotta check them out for yourself. Chicken guy is delicious. Um, this line is usually this long, so I'm not that surprised, but I've eaten here too. It's so good, guys. As we're looking for food, I just wanted to show off, look at this huge bubble wand stand. There's all these different bubbles and lights on it, but this Mickey thing, I've never seen it before. It looks dope. We are now in the House of Blues. We're getting some food. I've never been here before, but apparently it's good. Keith, would you recommend this place to eat for people? All right, you got it from Keith, a seasoned CP. And that's Dan, by the way. He's not a CP, but he's Follow a good pal. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Down below. <laughs> Guys, so one tip I have for you right away when you're coming onto the college program is don't have any expectations. Every college program experience is different compared to others. So come with no expectations and you will have a good time. That's what I did. I, I didn't expect anything. So just come in. Just be excited to uh, make a lot of friends. Hey guys, don't wait until the last minute to start packing. Like I said guys, these tips came straight from my Instagram. So if you don't already, go ahead and follow me, Jojo Cray, and that will be down below. Alright, Keith got another tip for you right now. Prepare to actually work, not play in the parks all day. Yep, that's a good one. That's actually a really good one. You will work anywhere from 32 to 40 hours a week on your college program, so be prepared to actually work. It's a good time if you can balance the work and the play. This one comes from Hannah Elizabeth Weaver. An extra large band-aid for your broken heart when you have to leave friends in Disney. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Get chatting to as many people as you can on your program, which is true. When you're here, you're in a whole new like world, honestly. You're meeting all these new people and everyone wants to make friends. So don't be afraid to say hi to someone. Just start up a conversation. I did that when I started my program, maybe a little too much at some points, but overall, it was a good thing I did. I made so many friends from it. A break from the questions, our food is here. I got, uh, what is this, Dan? What steak is this? Country fried steak. Country fried steak. Country fried steak. That looks delicious. What did you get? Asian pasta. Yum. Impossible burger. <laughs> Impossible burger. That is all Impossible. vegan. Even the cheese is vegan. Dan's a vegan, by the way. <laughs> Dan, if anyone is a vegan, you're gonna want to follow Dan. <laughs> Didn't like a vegan Disney Instagram follow you recently? Yeah, yeah. Shout out vegan Disney. Hey. <laughs> and for dessert, we have this chocolate cookie with ice cream. <laughs> we eating good out here tonight. Oh yeah, Dan's a vegan. I keep saying it, but Dan's a vegan. Um, so if you're ever looking for a good place to eat on your CP and you have some time. 
take your friends out to the House of Blues. And that's Steve, by the way. He'll be around. <laughs> so we just finished our amazing cookie. Keith got a tip coming at you right now for the CP. The best thing to know is getting to know who you're going to live with. Choose wisely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, you got to know me pretty well, right? <laughs> he repeats, choose wisely. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Learn about the mouse. <laughs> Learn about the mouse. It surrounds us. It flows through us, combines us, connects us together. Um, I, I don't remember the rest of the quote. <laughs> Elizabeth Baker says, join the CP Facebook group page. I didn't know that. My friend actually told me that when I was coming onto the program. It actually helps a lot. Helps you meet more people, and you can always ask questions there as well. Oh wait, that's how I met Keith. I met Keith on the Facebook group. So yeah, in Osos, in Osos, my other roommate. So definitely check it out. Soulborn78 said, uh, make sure you bring stuff that reminds you of home because as awesome as it is to move down here, you know you probably will get homesick every now and then. Like you know, you're just a human being. Yeah, miles and miles away. So bring stuff that reminds you of home. A favorite blanket, a pillow. A picture, something that just, you know, makes you go home. I bring a blankie. I didn't bring a blankie. What are you talking about? Cut that. Jacksonville 18 said, be open to anything and take advantage of all the opportunities that you can. There's a lot you can do between volunteers, um, the Yes program, um, any of like the CP housing events. There's, there's so much you can do. You just find out where it's going and just show up. Check the hub, all that stuff. Yeah, there's a ton of opportunities here, especially as a CP, to, you know, Educate yourself and grow within the company. So, Sashi Versace, that's a great Instagram name, says, Not something you need, but a tip still. That it's okay and fun to go to the parks alone sometimes. And I agree, I've done it before. I feel like sometimes people think it's such a crime to do stuff by yourself, especially when you're here. No, if you don't have any plans and your friends are working, because that's going to happen, you're going to be off and your friends are going to be working. Go to a park by yourself. It's actually a really fun and unique experience. And I recommend it to try it at least one time. Make sure before you come down is to save money. If you don't save money, you don't get a check until what was it like two or three two weeks? weeks? Two, two yeah. or three weeks into the program. Yeah. So you're gonna be really broke that first week because you can't get into the parks yet. So you're, you're gonna be down Disney Springs, hitting up all downtown Orlando, buying merchandise, yeah. having fun with new friends. Trust me, I spent a lot of money in the first month. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure you have some money saved up before you come down here because, like you said. Uh, you don't get paid for the first three weeks. And I spent way too much money when I first got down here. Too much on drinks and uh, stores and good time. I'm trying to tie this cherry stem right. <laughs> and the last tip I can give you for this session of House of Blues is bring your mattress topper. I didn't bring one and then I had to get one from Walmart and they were almost sold out. Yeah, no. But... <laughs> bring one. True. I recommend bringing a mattress topper. Um, it helps. The beds are okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Splitsville, by the way, another place that you can hang out with CP friends. It has awesome bowling in there. For those of you, what's your P.O. box? <laughs> That'll be down below. The P.O. box is down below. P.O. box is down below. <laughs> <laughs> We're not saying anything, but you know. If you are, uh, if you need something to send. <laughs> no, look, I'll settle, but I'd rather have the Thanos. God is in his reconciled, joyful nations rise. If you don't know, there's a show called The Mandalorian on Disney Plus, streaming now. And 
on that show, there's someone called Baby Yoda. You probably have seen memes about it, but they're selling it here now in Disney Springs merchandise. So there's a tip for you. When you come down on your... <laughs> Get all your Baby Yoda merch. When you go on your DCP, pick up your Baby Yoda merch, because it is selling quick. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> no, remember that advice about saving your money? Nah. They're selling baby Yoda socks as well. That is insane. You got your t-shirts right here. Three different variants and then you got a spear jersey over here. I showed it to you earlier but here it is again the spear jersey for baby Yoda. And it says Star Wars the Mandalorian on the back. Pretty cool. So baby Yoda, uh, so baby how do you Yoda. make the most of your four months? So uh, um, someone on Facebook asked me, how do you make the most of your CP in only four months? Luckily, we have baby Yoda here to uh, <laughs> answer that question. <laughs> you are. I, 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 I apologize. <laughs> this is gonna be the thumbnail right here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Keith just walked away when I started recording. Um, we're still in World of Disney right now. You just made a TikTok. Oh, oh sorry. That's um, actually some of the comments you made on that Facebook profile. Was like, you guys like my TikTok. So I appreciate that. Dan actually helps me a lot with those. Not big enough. Not big enough. Um, no, I did not. You. I'm not extending at all. I actually am full time now for some of your questions. Um, Dan doesn't work big here. Big news coming up. Oh yeah, big news coming up. True, Keith, dropping the subtle hints. Um, anyone who is a custodian, I've said this before, but custodian is an awesome role. My best advice for that is just go in with the best mindset and just talk to people and know that you can make an impact on someone's vacation with just like such a subtle like hello or like have a good day or maybe like recovering an item from them or something if they lose something like all that will make their vacation that much better. Love watching your videos. A lot of you guys are just saying how much you guys appreciate me, which I appreciate. Oh, there was a few more comments button. Yeah, no one tells me these things. What's the best way to time manage? How did you find time for work vlogs, Disney classes, college classes, fun, etc.? That's well, a strike out like three of them. That's a really good question. One, I didn't do college classes. Two, you didn't do Disney classes. I didn't really do any Disney classes. He hardly worked. I worked. Time management is very important. Basically, you need to understand. Anytime I knew I had a day off coming up, I kind of had to plan ahead of time. That's the best way I time manage. Like every week I'd look at my schedule, I'd be aware of when I need to work, and I'd try to plan around my schedule. That's the best you can do because you work a lot in Disney, so. Uh, tips on finances, budgeting, Keith. I mean, it's hard. You just gotta be able to budget because you don't get paid for the first two to three weeks. Yeah. So you gotta be able to budget what you're gonna spend in that first two, three weeks as you normally wouldn't. So you gotta adapt and... As we said, save up money and don't buy Baby Yoda merch. <laughs> That's the way you'll save all the money in the world. Best way to make friends during the program. Um, just need to talk to people. Just, yeah, seriously, talk to yeah, housing events are actually really big. If you're I've in a the spring, there is a Starlight Splash. Yes, the Starlight Splash, you guys will have that. It's a pretty cool time. Um, I definitely recommend going in like a smaller group so you can just enjoy all the water stuff like more. We did. Yeah, we went in the big group and it was just kind of overwhelming. Did we but, had, what, 15 people with us? Yeah, it was too much. <laughs> a Starlight Splash, that's gonna go uh, in the spring for you guys. Typhoon Look that up. Lagoon. Typhoon Lagoon, it's basically you go at like night, at night. Pool, it's exclusive party. to you guys. It's a good time. All right, last one of rapid fire. What to do during the first week of check-in? Springs. Springs, come here. At all the stuff we showed you tonight. Come to Springs. Um, Universal maybe. Uh, Make some pass. not big enough TikToks. Make some TikToks in Disney. There's mini golfing, Fantasia mini golfing. There is so yeah, much stuff go. to do down here in Orlando. And I'm excited for you guys to come down here. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good time, guys. There's the Kingle Mingle right here. DJ dance party for Christmas. Right in front of the Christmas tree trail. This is wild.
I have never done this before, but this is the void. It is a virtual reality center here. You like play shooting games and it's Star Wars themed. Very cool. That's another thing you can do here in spring. There are a ton of trees here which are themed, but my favorite which I wanted to showcase is the Star Wars one. Look, instead of like a star, it's a lightsaber at the top. Very cool. For those of you that had something to say about my negativity in our Rise of Skywalker review, just look around you. How often was he in the movie? Look at all this merch. How often was the Red Stormtrooper in the movie? Really cool outside the Lego store in Disney Springs. Look at this, it's Ray and BB-8. All Legos, that's wild. They went hard on this, very cool, very cool. Just to show all my Star Wars peeps out there. Wow. Honestly, despite the crowds, it's been a fun night here in Disney Springs. It's pretty beautiful, honestly. And there definitely was a lot of people tonight, but we were still able to have a good time. So don't worry, you can have a good time as well. Yes, Update at the beginning of the vlog, you saw how long that line was. Now there's no line. I guess we just came here at peak time. What time was that? Like 8? Uh, no, early. Uh, like 6, 7? 7.30 maybe. 7.30, okay. We and now it's around 10.30, so if you, don't worry, like I said, if you come now, there'll be no line. Okay, so the video's not over yet. I hope you enjoyed that little time we had in Springs. There were a few questions I didn't reach where I wanted to just like talk about real quick. Faith Mayer on Facebook asked, how can you make the most of your CP in four months? We kind of already mentioned this, but basically just take every opportunity you can to do something new. If you have a day off, even if you're tired, get yourself out there, find some friends, make some new friends, go to the parks by yourself. When you're down here on your CP, there are so many different opportunities. You literally, at least for me, I almost felt like, oh my God, like, like there's just so much to do. And honestly, the only time you really shouldn't be doing anything, if, especially if you're here on four months, is if you're really tired or sick. But there's no excuse, there's so much to do down here. So you will make the most of it by just not stopping, I guess. It's gonna fly by. Liz asked on Facebook, time management and burnout. We already mentioned time management, but basically, like I said, try to plan ahead for time management. Get yourself a journal. I say this all the time, get yourself a journal. You have notes on your phone, um, even like just like a little pad. Just try to you know, plan ahead. That's the best way, because things fly by here. And to prevent burnout, that's an interesting one. I think the best way maybe you start feeling that coming on is maybe take a break from Disney World, maybe go to Universal, there's a place called Gatorland. When I say there's a lot of stuff to do, it's not just Disney World, there's the Orlando Eye, there's a ton of cool places to eat and see, there's a Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum um, down like towards Universal. If you start getting burnout from work, maybe take a break from Disney and just go explore the rest of Orlando because don't forget, it's not just Disney down here, we are a huge tourist destination for so many things. A few of you asked me on Facebook, is there anything you wish you knew before coming on the college program? And honestly, this is something I want you guys to know. And that's like, some days are gonna be better than others. Some days are gonna be awesome, fun, you're gonna watch fireworks, you're gonna go on rides, you're gonna make new friends, but some days you're gonna have work and it's gonna be stressful and it's gonna be hot and you're not gonna wanna go to work or you're just not feeling up to the whole thing about everything down here. And I just wanna let you know that it's okay to not always be super happy, super smiley. Sometimes we just need to take a step back and just relax. And if there's at any point you're feeling burnout, stress, or feeling like you self-doubt yourself coming down here, don't worry because those are all like common things that we all feel down here. Especially when you're on your CP because so much is happening so quickly. So the one thing you guys should definitely take away from this video is know that it's okay to not be okay when you come down here and you will get through it because you are not the only one. You are never alone down here. I mean, that goes for life, but especially here on the CP, we're all in this together. Wow, that was High School Musical. But seriously, we are all in this together. So when you start feeling those negative thoughts or anything bad, just remember that you're not in this alone and it's okay and you will get through it. Now, let's get back to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, thank you to everyone who commented on Instagram. Thank you to everyone who commented on Facebook. I definitely want to do more of this. Like I said, if there's one thing you can take away from this, just know you will have a good time. It'll be a fun time. Just come in with hopeful thoughts, no expectations, and it's gonna work out, guys. All right, let's finish up this video. 
All right, guys, with all that being said, it's been a fun day in Springs. I hope you found some of that advice for all the upcoming CPs helpful. Keith, last minute, any final tips you want to tell any upcoming CPs for Spring? Um, just put yourself out there. You're, you'll meet a lot of people from around the world. You have people coming from New Zealand, Australia, Puerto Rico, Brazil, like they're coming from all over and then all across the United States. You never know who you're gonna meet or how they came to where they are. Just make friends as much as possible because you'll never know. You, some friends will turn into lifetime friends down here. Boom, that's true. Very good. Dan, Yeah. you're not on the CEP, but any, uh, any uh, tips that you learned for uh, any future CPs, any tips? Uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> um, Start more, watching Frozen 2 and more, Mandalorian. Uh, for more wacky content like the one you saw in this video <laughs> down below. Well, there's your tip from Dan, <laughs> the non-CP. And um, I agree with Keith, just be open. Um, you, you will meet so many people down here. If you're worried about making friends, don't worry. You will make friends. Just be open to everything. Um, do as much as you can. Do as much as you can because you are here for a limited time. And honestly, it goes by so quick. So if you're sitting in your dorm or your apartment, hit the parks up. yeah, hit the parks up. Go when you can. Make as many friends as you can. Um, and if, if you're not coming down with a car, it's really not bad with the buses to get to the parks. It's really not. Just hop on the bus and go. It'll be, you'll get right to the park. Keith didn't have a car on his program and he did fine. Took the bus every day to work, perfectly he, fine. Was never late. And now he's here. He loved it so much he stayed down here with me. So I still I'm don't pretty, have a car. It still doesn't matter. I walk to work. He walks to work now. Um, yeah, I think that's really it. I hope some of these tips help. Like I said, you will have a good time. If you come in with a positive mindset, it will work out. Go to the parks in the morning, go to the parks and go to work. It's honestly a good time. That's what, that's what makes it fun working here is because you can just go to the parks and see the magic being made and then go what to go to work and make that same magic. Ooh, keep coming in right now. Well. I can't put it better myself. So, with all that You're being right, said, guys. <laughs> <laughs> with all that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like this subscribe. video, subscribe, ring that bell, um, comment, comment down below. If this helps. Merch. I have merchandise. Patreon. <laughs> uh, thank you, Patreon. Make sure you guys comment down TikTok. below. TikTok. Jo at Jojo Crichton. Yep. Yep. Follow me on Instagram. Comment down below if you have any other questions. I will be answering Follow questions. Dan. Follow Dan on Instagram. <laughs> and yeah, and I really think that. also. Well. If you ever see us, say hi. We like making new friends, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that being said, <laughs> every day is a blessed day to be alive. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. How did you guys? Peace. <laughs>